0770. You're hearing Week on the Web. With your host, Jeff Decker. If you think British Airways' new Airbus A380 looks resplendent in its new livery, you might have Lady Thatcher to thank, writes David Kaminsky Morrow on the Airline Business blog. The late Iron Lady famously draped her handkerchief over a model of a British Airways Boeing 747-400 bearing the carrier's controversial new ethnic tail fins at a conservative party conference in 1997. Absolutely terrible, she declared in front of the TV cameras. The former British Prime Minister's opinion was thought to be crucial in BA's decision to abandon the assorted multicolored designs and revert to a version of the Union flag it still uses today. On his eponymous blog, David Learmount recalls flying with a side stick for the first time 25 years ago on an Airbus A300, configured as a testbed for the then new fly-by-wire system of the A320. And now the top stories of the week from FlightGlobal.com. Navy divers have retrieved the cockpit voice recorder from the wrecked Lion Air Boeing 737-800 more than two days after it crashed into the sea near the Nagura Rai International Airport in Denpasar. Strong waves and a presence of coral reefs made the removal of the CVR from the aircraft's tail difficult, a transport ministry official tells Flight Global Pro, adding that the device is now with the National Transportation Safety Committee. The aircraft's flight data recorder had earlier been retrieved and sent to Jakarta for analysis. The two-month-old 737 has to be cut up to facilitate its removal from shallow waters near the airport. The country's director general of civil aviation, Harry Bakhti, had earlier said that the plan was to tow the aircraft, which was broken into two between the wings and tail, to a beach nearby to speed up investigation. American Airlines will split its order for 130 Airbus A320 family aircraft equally between the A319 and A321, says engine supplier International Aero Engines. The Fort Worth-based carrier will take 65 A319s with CFM International CFM 56-5B engines and 65 A321s with IAE V2500-A5 engines, says John Beatty, president and chief executive of IAE, at a media event in Palm Beach. American previously had not disclosed how many of each type it planned to take delivery of beyond 2013. It will accept 15 A319s and 5 A321s from the air framer this year. U.S. Federal Aviation Administration Chief Michael Huerta confirms that the Boeing 787's extended operations certificate is being reviewed separately from the battery redesign investigation. Addressing a Senate Commerce Committee panel on the three-month anniversary of the Boeing grounding, Huerta's remarks clarified for the first time that Boeing has been answering the FAA's questions on two key fronts. Boeing not only has to prove to the FAA that the 787 battery redesign and new containment system is safe enough, the company also has to satisfy the agency that the 787 is reliable enough to fly routes that take the twin jet up to 180 minutes away from an eligible runway. And for the second week in a row, the new Boeing fighter concept makes the top five list. Boeing is unveiling an updated version of its FA-XX sixth generation fighter concept at the Navy League Sea Air Space Exposition in Washington, D.C. The tailless twin-engine stealth fighter design comes in manned and unmanned options as possibilities per the U.S. Navy, according to Boeing. The design features diverterless supersonic inlets reminiscent of those found on the Lockheed Martin F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The Boeing concept also features canards, which is somewhat of a surprise because the motion of those forward-mounted control surfaces is generally assumed to compromise a stealth aircraft's frontal radar cross-section. But the lack of vertical tail surfaces suggests the aircraft will be optimized for all-aspect broadband stealth, which would be needed for operations in the most challenging anti-access area denial environments.